Okay, so the first piece that I have up is gonna be my sort of centerpiece for this set. And then I wanna get my fountain that I got off of uh, Amazon. This is a Department 56 fountain. This is gonna be my centerpiece on top of this. And I've actually cut a hole through, if you remember, to get it plugged in. And then once I have that run through the hole, I'll be able to work out what plugs all my black lights are gonna need and everything like that. So here I have my three pronged, small, Department 56, uh, I wanna say this is three volts, three volt DC battery pack. Well, not battery pack. Uh, thingy, we'll call it a thingy, okay? <laughs> Cord. And I bought some glow in the dark trees to go along with this. So I'm hoping that uh, that will work out quite well. This goes through the hole. Right, come back. There we go. Plug it into one of these. There we go. There's number one. Okay. And of course it came with its own power supply, but why use that when you can use just one plug for multiple of them? Now I have some of these cute little trees from Department 56. I bought them either on Amazon or on eBay. And I'm curious to see what kind of plug-in they have, whether it's three volt or four and a half volt. I'm hoping it's the three volt, because then I can just plug them into that. Yep, looks like a little tiny three volt, so I'll be able to put those in as well. And here I have the Department 56 lit jack-o'-lantern that I got. So the bottom jack-o'-lanterns light up as well as the top ones. So this last tree does not come with a plug pack. None of the packs were plug-in. They were all battery packs with Wow, really big batteries. One and a half volt C size batteries. So I can't light that one up until I get another um, one and a half volt or three volt. I can't really tell what, what size these are, but these little tiny guys. I need to get one more adapter for these. So here is what that little jack-o'-lantern looks like lit up. It is sparkly, so it's leaving glitter on my hands. But that's it. Let me turn on the light. You can see the glitter. Yep. All right, now we need to figure out what to do with our black lights. Uh, these Bradford Exchange kits came with two small black lights. But I had these from last year uh, from Walmart. Just because they're bigger though, does not mean that they are more powerful. It just means that they're longer. I found that out when I was doing my office display last year and they were okay. But you know, with lights and things that come through windows and stuff, it's kind of a bit of a pain. I think next year what I'll do is I will make some sort of wall that covers this so that I'm not just getting a uh, an open sort of naked bulb like that. And where we're putting our black lights after that. So what I like to do, as you can tell, is wrap up 
my carved foam pieces. We start off up with a saran wrap, and that way they stay safe from dust and dirt daubers, and paint stays nice, the glitter stays on, all that jazz. Now remember, black lights, just like the other lights, are hot. I learned the wrong way that they melt foam. So don't put them directly on your phone. Oh, and you know what? How do these ones look? Are these ones stronger? They may be smaller, but they could be stronger. So. These are quite tiny. Here we have our village for now. Got Jack, Cat House, Cemetery, and Zero, and our creepy skeleton tree. Got Town Hall. Oh, I just noticed the clock. It's a spider web. Oh. What is that? The mayor. Our toxic river. With our really cool fountain. Got Sally, who looks great. Finkelstein. I like his wheels. Here's Finkelstein's lab. And then we've got Jack's house. The glowing gate and Jack standing there quite happily. And then behind us, we have some things I made last year. So some ball jars, Sally and Jack, they came from Walgreens. And then our cool lantern. And then over here, we have a little bit of our haunted mansion fun. Ooh, Adam Yota. Fun, huh? Oop, and let's not forget. <laughs> I just got these at Walgreens too. <laughs> Fun.